In this video I'm going to talk about when I hurt my leg last week, what happened and how I treated it and how I actually recognize if it was really bad or not bad. My name is Matti, I'm working as a dog musher and nature guide up in northern Sweden. I run a small lifestyle company together with my partner Stina, we make these YouTube videos and we also make a lot of guided tours with dog sled, canoes, hiking, packraft and so on. Outdoor life is actually what we are doing for a living. We live in a Jokmok, it's a small village just above the Arctic Circle in northern Sweden. In this video I'm going to talk about when I hurt my leg last week, what happened and how I treated it and how I actually recognize if it was really bad or not bad. We had just started out with the dogs and I was filming with the drone at the same time as I was driving the dog sled. After a few minutes suddenly I felt that my leg went in under the box between the box and sled because I'm using something that's called sitting sled. That's not what we use for customers and this is one of the biggest risks that your leg gets stuck there and that's a big risk that you actually break your leg if you're doing like that. I was super lucky I could push down the brake with my other foot and I managed to put out my foot but the pain was there and it was not good. I hooked my team and I feel that I, I couldn't really use my leg but uh, I couldn't stop where I was so I had to take down the drone and I had to continue driving a few minutes until I find a good spot where I could stop my team and I also had my whole group behind my team. One of the first thing I was doing was actually to see can I stand on the leg, is it usable or not. Quite fast I figure out that I can stand on it but it's not a nice feeling so I was sitting down and I took off my my uh, shoes like this I had other shoes at that time but took off the boots and when you have hurted your leg it's very painful sometimes to pull off the shoe I managed to do that I still have very pain when I do that so I put off put it off like this and then I took off the socks and oh, it's still not okay but I took off the socks and I looked all the way into skin level as we say I looked is it blue is it some strange color uh, is it bleeding uh, and what what is it then I try to feel if I had sensation on the toes if I could move the foot, if I could move the toes and so on. And I figure out that I could move all my toes, I could move the foot, uh, it was nice, not a nice feeling, but I could move it. So then it was probably not broken. One of the important thing to do if you have a uh, twisted uh, ankle, that, that was actually the case for me, I know it now afterwards, is that you use elastic strip like this and this should come on quite fast because when you have twisted ankle you get a, it starts swallow it can be internal bleeding and it just swallow and when if you can avoid this swallowing effect then you also heal faster so I have this one with me you know, it usually come with the small things, elastic with the uh, hooks. This one, I never use. I always put them away. Now I just brought them because I want to show you. Then you take this one and you put it so, and you're rolling it around the leg. You see, you're rolling it not that way, not, not that way around. You see the difference? You put it that way. And then you just start taking it around like this, around, up and down. And a little bit hard, not too hard because you should still have circulation. And now we are in a cold climate, so circulation is quite important to stay warm. But then you put it like this, around, around and so on yeah you you understand this <coughs> if you have done this 
in a good way you wait I thought I do this first before I start talking shit you know anyway this one you put it instead of using the clips you put it in under so now I I don't put this straight on my skin when it's winter if it's summer it's different but when it's winter I still want the wool closest to my skin because I don't want to be too cold with my foot what I'm doing now I give some stabilization here but I also make pressure on this part where I could have the swallowing effect then I put the shoes back and everything and I try to use my foot if it's possible uh, don't do things that are painful and you should not uh, overuse it and you should be careful if it's really if you can't use it then you had to try to evacuate yourself or try to get some help somehow if you have some friends they maybe can take your backpack and take some equipment from you and you can maybe hike out by yourself if you can make the foot usable if you have ski poles don't hesitate to use the ski poles for stabilizing yourself that's also important then when you have had it for a while you must feel how cold is my toes do I still have sensation in my foot maybe stop after another 15 20 minutes 10 minutes and feel how does it feel because if this is too tight then you don't get circulation down to the foot and that's not good that's really not good <coughs> if it's too loose you don't get um, the effect you want from it so it's a balance and you must trust yourself what is uh, what is good and what is bad you can also cooling the foot down with snow and ice and you can rest with the foot in a high position rest for a while if you have possibility to do that now I put it oh yep put it back <coughs> anyway when you have done that the best way to heal a, um, a twisted ankle is to start using it start using it as much as possible not painful not twist again keep it warm for healing make some massage up here put massage on it and and uh, try to take care of it for me this is two days ago and it was not super bad so I can kind of walk on it already two three days ago so I can kind of walk on it already the first day was not <laughs> the best part you can also use sport tape with a sport tape you can tape the foot and stabilize it very much I have done that during summer with some guests but um, I've never done it during the winter and I don't know how good it is to put tape so that it's it's hard on the foot and uh, look at internet how to tape a twisted ankle and you will get really good advice from football people and uh, yeah other people who twist ankles a lot I was lucky nothing broken hopefully but it's healed so well until now so I think it's just fine I just need to continue using it and um, then I'm fine because now I'm starting out on the week-long tour so I actually don't have time to be uh, ill right now that's how it is to running your own small business then you don't have time to be out of the business I think that was a short video from me about how you can treat the twisted ankle very quickly and if you have any advice probably you have a lot of ideas about this or I have said something that you think is totally crazy 
please leave a comment. What is your best advice to twisted ankle? Leave a comment down here and I see you next video. Ciao.